we have uh, Brett Snodgrass on. He's taking a big active role in that. Um, we were supposed to have Dave Periton come in and talk to him. Oh, there he is. But <laughs> Dave typically always comes in at the last second. Guys. Awesome job, Dave. Awesome job. Love you. Your flag isn't any bigger than it was last night. Excuse me. <laughs> Dave last night unveiled his future new larger flag. He just hadn't been able to put it on the wall yet. Uh, right, here, right here, everybody. Right. Here we, 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 here wave, we, wave, we wave them proudly over here. Love awesome. It. Awesome. I love it. So, um, all right. Who, who would like to go first? I, I, I want to talk about uh, Generous Genius and uh, all the different charities that w we support. And uh, you know what, Brett, since you're getting an active role in here, I'm going to let you go first. <laughs> No, well, thanks, uh, thanks, Bill and Wendy and Jonathan. Appreciate you guys having. And I just actually got back from Collective Genius this morning. My plane left at six a.m. Ouch! So uh, I got back to Indiana, Midwest, here, and uh, just excited. Yeah, awesome event with the Collective Genius. Got so much wisdom and nuggets out of it. So I appreciate uh, just all the knowledge. But uh, the generous genius, uh, I'm honest, honestly, Dave. He's he's been kind of the fakes behind the generous genius for the past couple of years. And uh, I've just been kind of having some conversations with him in the background and, and, you know, with him. And I'd say Dave and talk to Jason Medley, who runs collective genius. And I said, I'd like to, I'd like to make more of a difference in people's lives. And uh, I'd like to be more involved because that's really what makes me come alive. Um, you know, making money and success in business. I love doing that. I love creating and I love building things. Uh, but really, when it comes down to it, uh, I really, you know, if I can just positively, positively impact someone's life the way we've been able to do with Generous Genius, I just want to really be a part of that. And uh, uh, some of the things that I've been a part of and I've seen is, uh, you know, uh, we've been able to put a lot of missions trips together. Uh, we've built homes in Mexico. Uh, you know, I know there's at least, you know, two times a year. There's a group of the Collected Genius that goes down. We build homes for a deserving family in Mexico, and that's one thing that we do. Um, last year, I got a chance to go on a missions trip, uh, and this was really cool. It's to Guatemala, and we stayed in an orphanage over there, and we built a home as well, and we got to feed uh, children in the extreme impoverished part of Guatemala, and I've been able to link up with that prop and charity organization and try to help them as well. I'm getting ready to go to Guatemala here again in two weeks. Uh, so I've been coming more involved with that organization. Um, and I think it just, you know, and Dave can tell you about his organization that he's a part of about helping uh, families pay their medical bills that the insurance companies won't cover. And I'll let him kind of talk about that because he's a big part of that. But uh, um, I just, uh, you know, as entrepreneurs, uh, I think that I heard this one time that if we have the ability, uh, we have the responsibility um, to make a difference and to help. And I think uh, as an entrepreneur, you know, I've learned so many skills about building business, about creating something, about thinking logically and putting the puzzle together, right, in, in business. And you can relate that to a lot of different things. And there's a lot of amazing organizations out there that have amazing hearts. They want to do so good. They want to make a difference, but sometimes they lack the resources, uh, money, or they lack the knowledge and the wisdom of putting the puzzle together. And I think as entrepreneurs, if we can just get behind that, I think that we can do an amazing things. And I think that's what the generous genius does. And I think it's, this is just the beginning. So we're like a base camp. And I think we're going to do some amazing things for the world here. And so can't wait. Hey, Amen. That's awesome. That's awesome. Dave, you take it. <laughs> hey, guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Wendy. I just brought uh, Brett along here, um, asked him to join. So thanks for making it, Brett, as well. And um, I wasn't able to make it to the Collective Genius live, but I was there uh, virtually. And it has been a busy uh, little run here. Um, but you know, I've been talking to Brett quite a bit offline and really I got involved with the generous genius because, you know, there are a lot of organizations out there who, you know, they take your money and they'll take a check and stuff like that. But I just kind of wanted to add a little accountability and kind of keep it 
in the family as far as like make sure the organizations that we're getting behind are doing the right thing with the money and that's really where it all came from and um you know i still very much am in the real estate business we are rocking and rolling on that front and uh brett approached me and you know i got the opportunity to go down to guatemala with brett and another group of us uh cgers and um we were exposed to a really really solid uh foundation uh it's called forever changed international and actually the people who run it uh we met from another mastermind group that um wendy and bill and myself are a part of and i'm wearing the shirt here freedom founders freedom if you can see live but uh if you uh cinda rocker and jim rocker are uh phenomenal members of freedom founders and they're uh people that i personally do business with i've traveled with them and and they run the uh foundation the orphanage down in guatemala and then you know brett and i were there together you know Brett stepped up and um, people brought their kids and it was a tremendous experience and then since then you know i just you know have my head down and still rocking and rolling in real estate and brett approached me and he's like you know i want to take a more active role i want to start maybe running some trips down there he's still in communication with jim and cinda and i said brett absolutely i will get behind this thing because you need energy you know and um Basically, I think, uh, you know, Brett's been praying about this a long time and Brett actually stepped up when we were in Guatemala and he led uh, some some great prayer services and uh, we, we prayed together. And um, I just feel like Brett is going to really, you know, take his life in a whole new direction. And if I can help uh, that, I'm definitely behind that. And um, I'm excited. So I think what's coming here, guys, a little sneak peek preview. Um, I think Mr. Snodgrass is probably going to be running some trips down to Guatemala here. And uh, you guys are going to get the opportunity to experience what we have already experienced. And it is life changing. Not only the kids that you're helping out. And Bill, I think we talked about this offline. Um, the perspective that you get. I mean, you know, you see a, a American flag behind me and um, I love my country and uh, I love my country even more when I come back from extreme po- poverty. I see That's exactly right. how people live in other parts of the world and just realize how good we got it. And um, I, I really like what you said there as well, Brett. I mean, as entrepreneurs, um, as difference makers, as people who have taken responsibility for their life and their business and who are getting out there and get getting after it. It is our responsibility to help those below us and keep learning from those above us. And that's that's what we're here to do. Um, so I'm just extremely grateful to be here. Uh, Wendy and Bill, you guys are good friends of mine and um, super stoked to have the opportunity to be on your live stream today. That's awesome. You know, there's a trip coming up, I think real shortly here. Uh, is it in November that they're going down, Brett? Uh, we're actually leaving October the second, so oh, that's, coming up real soon. <laughs> that's real soon. That's awesome. So, yeah. so when you're talking about this, you don't have to be a member of Collective Genius to join up and go down on any one of these trips. Isn't that correct? Is there a URL they can hook up with? Yeah, I mean, if anyone's interested, uh, I can link you up with uh, Jim and Cinda, who run uh, the organization, and and they're looking for people to experience this. I mean, their organization is is very young. Um, And it's just like any business, it's like a young business, you know, and uh, they're looking for people to get involved and uh, for ideas and resources as well. And uh, and they want people just to experience it. I think it's one thing to write a check and to uh, raise money at an event and see a a picture of, of, you know, of what's going on down there. Um, but it's another another thing to, to experience it, to uh, you know, bring yourself there, to bring the emotion there, to see really what's going on. Um, and I think that when you experience that, you come back, and you know, like they've said, forever changed. It's like you know, when I came back, it's just like I want to do something. And I know you know, um, you know, you can do something, uh, you can do something small, and maybe you can't change everybody's life, but maybe you can change one family's life that's and, all it and, takes that's all yeah. it takes and if is we that all work together and, and you know it, and it takes all of us right and there's so much need and i think that's the biggest thing i get excited about is because there's like there's unlimited opportunity <laughs> it's like there's no con- like we're all in this together you know to help uh help people and to make a difference in their lives and what more of a difference you can make by saving someone's life literally saving someone's life um it's just amazing so that's exactly right and you know what i think is really cool 
uh, I want to just bring up something that that Dave said too is that he kept his head down, still doing real estate, but he is um, doing what he can to 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 help someone else and change the world. And I think as entrepreneurs, we're always concerned about you know we we eat what we kill, so you know you got to work to to have money come in. But one one of the things that I found in in our company because because we are really really focused on doing the Lord's work and and making sure that that everything we do that we're following in the the path that He has us on, and one of the things that that we found is that He's capable of taking care of our business. <laughs> in fact, He does way better at it than we do. And, and if we really focus in anything that we do in our lives, if we really focus on others and helping them, our own personal stuff kind of takes care of itself, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. for sure. We, uh, if, I, if I may jump in one thing, you know, then you guys hear it all the time. And Bill, I know, and Wendy, I think, you, did you go to Mexico as well with uh, Scott Meyer? I, I didn't Fiamo? go to Mexico. I, I go to Africa on my trips. But you yeah, do, Bill I know you guys are out moving in. You guys can vouch for this. A, a big thing is a lot of people say, you know, I would love to do something like that, but there's this inner fear. They say, oh, I don't know, is it safe? You know, and I would just yeah. want to debunk immediately, especially in, in Brett could speak on our Guatemala experience. It is incredibly safe. In fact, I ate better in Guatemala than I do at home here. I wanted to stay. I slept better. I ate better. It is clean. We're not getting eaten up by bugs. We're eating very good food. Um, and it's safe. I mean, we, we have, uh, uh, we're in a gated community, as a matter of fact. I mean, Brett, you remember it. it so I just want to do nice. this. And if anyone's interested, definitely, in fact, reach out to Brett. Um, but it is completely safe. And you're you're really making a big difference. It's going to give you a whole new perspective. But yeah, the whole like fear, I think a lot of that's the media. They say, oh, you never leave. They're just trying to trap you. It is very <laughs> safe. You're welcomed with open arms, guys. And uh, it is an ex extremely safe experience. Talk yeah, about I, the length went, of the trip. I, I'm sorry, hang on. I found in Mexico specifically that the vast majority of the people with machine guns work for the government, so it was okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, so that's not helpful. <laughs> Talk about the length of the trip. How how long people can expect to be gone? Because a lot of people are saying, well, I can't take two weeks off or even a whole week off. So t talk a little bit about that. Take it away, Brett. Yeah. Well, I know they're doing a couple of different uh, couple of different options to Guatemala. So this next trip, the one that's coming up October the 2nd, which if anyone's interested, they are – uh, there's, I think, maybe three or four spots open. So I know it's pretty short notice, but uh, if anyone's interested, there's a three spots open. And this is a very short trip. It's actually called a field trip. Uh, and it's more of learning and experiencing, and you're going to be serving too. And but it's more of a kind of a learning trip. So it's a four day trip, and uh, so they're going to be doing some of those field trips down there. Four days. It's like a Thursday through Sunday, or um, Friday through you know Tuesday, something like that, or Monday. Um, so like four day trip, field trip, and you learn. So you go see some of the things they're doing, and just kind of learning about it. And I think sometimes. Um, as Americans, uh, we go over to these other countries on these missions trips, and and we're like set to the agenda. We got to get something done. We got to build this house in a week, and we got to go, 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 go. And it's just super busy, and you're just pedal to the metal the entire time, and you don't really get to experience what is really going on because you're so entrenched on getting the project done because that's what we do in America, right? But actually, if you go to these other countries, a lot of them, I mean, they want you to help, but a lot of them uh, are a little bit different. They actually want you to get to know them. They want you to get to know their culture and, and what they do, and uh, and they want to befriend you. That's why you go to Mexico, and you know the aunt comes over, and the guy's late because his aunt came over, and he talked to her for four hours, right? And, uh, <laughs> and that's what happens in other cultures. So a lot of times um, – you know, so that's kind of what these little field trips are. It's getting to know what they're doing, learning about them, learning about the culture, and then you know, experiencing that. But then they're also going to do some some different mission trips, which are about a week long, and then that is more of visiting the orphanage, building a home. Um, but I would say, if you're interested at all, try one of these field trips, like we're doing in October. Agreed. Agreed. 
Yeah, the same thing happens with the Mexico trips. We typically fly in the San Diego uh, on a on a Friday. We get on a bus and we go down to Ensenada, Mexico. Um, we're we're typically staying at a pretty nice hotel. Um, get settled in, have a little dinner. Next morning we uh, go over to the base camp. We get our orientation. We build most of the house and then come back on Sunday and finish it up. And I'm, I'm telling you, th those are the, what gets to me is you've got people that are really impoverished and yet all the kids, they have no idea they're impoverished. They have big smiles on their face. They're playing just like any other kids would, right? Yep, they're loving on you. And as much as um, we want to help others and you're, you're thinking about this, well, we uh, here, here's one perspective for me. When I got back, obviously, it changed me completely because now my little itsy bitsy problems or first world problems, um, they, they don't mean a hill of beans. It has nothing to do with whether I'm going to survive the day or not. <laughs> uh, but we also have a need for uh, charity in this own co in our own country. So, right. and I don't want to gloss over that to either. So, Dave, uh, can you uh, bring up a little bit about what the, the group is doing uh, internally here in the U.S. as well? It's like you went to play a video. Yes. Uh, were you going to play a video? Is that what you're? I'm not sure who's in control there. <laughs> it's not me. Well, it's not me either. It just came on its own. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Scott Patton, our guy who does everything. He's oh, he's very, nice. The very nice. The man behind the curtain picks up the Wizard of Oz. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Um, and he's just pulling but, up the website. I don't think there's a video coming. So yeah. um, There's a lot of – well, here's the deal, guys. I mean, the whole – can we all agree that the whole medical system in the U.S. is, for lack of a better term, a crock of shit? Are we, are we okay saying that in the life? Um, it, it really is. And there's a lot of families out there in need. And you know what? Uh, you know, Lindsay, my better half, she uh, co-founded and operates uh, the Len Foundation. It's uh, L-E-N-N, -N, the Len Foundation. And um, I'll just give you a little example here if you can. You can see, these are some of the kids that you know we've helped. Um, awesome. You know, these are uh, kids are born with cerebral palsy. Some are born with cerebral palsy, and uh, you know they have a tough time. And these are just regular, good old fashioned American families who right. uh, work their job, and they are expecting a child. And guess what? The child is born with cerebral palsy. It is what it is, and um, God works in mysterious ways, and. A lot of these families, you know, their insurance is not covering even the basic uh, needs to improve and, and kind of help these children live a normal life, like walking and talking. And, you know, this is like stuff that's extremely important uh, just to kind of help these this child develop. Um, and the insurance companies don't pay for it. So the Len Foundation is a foundation that... Um, raises money for these families. These are all families right here in, in the US of A. And it's it's basically just helping out families where the insurance companies stop. That's where right. they start, you know? And I think it's a very valid cause. And, um, but yeah, I mean, I've, I've got the opportunity just through Lindsay to, to meet a lot of these families. And I mean, their stories are incredible. Nobody asks for that kind of thing. And right. as far as, um, you know, it, it's always a blessing in disguise, but, uh, sometimes it's it's extremely difficult for these families, and the Len Foundation just kind of softens that blow financially, uh, where the insurance companies are not helping out. Excellent. So I'm going to uh, do a little speed round here. Uh, we are talking about uh, charity, but uh, charity begins at home. So Brett, um, come on up here on the screen if you don't mind, Scott, uh, unless he's getting his lunch and he's not listening. <laughs> um, so brett really quickly talk about your uh what it is you do and how people can get in touch with you about your business you are in the real estate business <laughs> <laughs> yes yes i am so uh so our company is called simple wholesaling we are more of a wholesaling company and we do some owner uh, seller financing as well and we're out of indianapolis indiana uh so our website simplewholesaling.com 
or you can find me on Facebook. I think is probably the easiest way. It's Brett Snodgrass. Uh, just look me up on Facebook. You don't get that name a lot. Snodgrass. <laughs> kind of weird and, uh, so Brett Snodgrass. Um, and then, yeah, so we do a real estate. I've been doing real estate for 13 years and we do about 250 to 300 houses a year. Uh, so we have a really solid business here in Indianapolis and, um, I have a great team and recently I promoted Brian Snyder, who's in, who's a CEO now of our company. So for the last three and a half months, I've been kind of in the owner's box. I own the company, but I haven't been directly involved. So you guys talk about freedom, uh, freedom founders. And so this is, I'm getting a taste of that right now, which is awesome. And that's kind of what led me to reach out to Dave and say, Hey Dave, I have freedom and, but I, I still want to make a difference. And that's kind of, um, I guess I was uncomfortable by being so comfortable, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, that, that definitely makes sense. So people can reach out to you those those ways as well to get in, involved in the Guatemala trip and other uh, charities you're involved in. Exactly. Excellent. Dave, same thing with you, bud. I know you yeah. got a real estate business. Uh, you're in the, I, I'm going to call it the great state of Columbus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I am. Uh, you know, we're. I'm a real estate investor. Own a real estate uh, company, just like Brett. There's uh, twelve of us total. I have a business partner, R.J. Papino, and we specialize in the affordable housing business. So, uh, we target properties that have good rent to value ratios. Um, we have a portfolio north of a hundred uh, rentals. And we target price points really about between 100 and 225. Um, and we buy houses, we renovate them, we rent them out, and then we'll either you know refinance or we'll you know keep the private money in place. Uh, we work with lenders like you guys, and we work with a lot of private lenders. But yeah, we're just in the boring affordable housing business. A lot of single family <laughs> rentals. Hey, but boring is the new sexy, is what I've been That's telling. Right. You. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> right. Keep, keep it safe, everybody. Um, and I'm really happy with what we've been able to accomplish. We also wholesale quite a bit. Uh, we've sold a ton of turnkey properties in our career and really we've gotten away from that and just kind of hanging on to as much as we possibly can, wholesaling the rest. And um, yeah, you can find me on Facebook as well. I think my name is on the screen, Dave Payerchin. And uh, we are going to be kind of uh, putting ourselves out there. We created a brand and our brand is um, The Cream and The Cream stands for Cash Flow Real Estate and Money. And we will be launching a site here soon. So put it on your uh, on your back burner for now until it's launched. But our website will be risewiththecream.com. Awesome. I love it. You know, when, <laughs> when that takes place, we'll have to have you on again. So you I would can love that. How you work that out and and see how that goes. That's that's pretty awesome. You know, uh, another thing that uh, I think is important for us to mention, we're talking about um, generous genius this group collective genius has been uh, such a blessing for us to, to be a part of. Um, and I know you guys feel the same way and, and who it's connected with us in other respects is also just amazing that, you know, freedom founders being able to get into other incredible masterminds and, and rub shoulders with people that are so much smarter than us has been awesome. But I mean, just a, a great example of, of who comes to these meetings we you know we have the uh, new guy josh Culler, who was introduced yesterday and we talked about you know what is your why and his why is to to fund 100 missionaries that's his why you know it, it wasn't something personal there's a lot of people in our group that feel that way and really just want to give back um isn't that amazing that we're exposed to that kind of stuff on a regular basis? We are. And you know what? It starts at the top, if I may say, you know, it all starts at the top. And, and uh, somebody who deserves a, a big high five and a lot of recognition is Mr. Jason Medley. Amen. That's right. The one who brought us together. In fact, Freedom Founders was not an existing mastermind until Jason, until uh, Mr. David Phelps, founder of Freedom Founders, was a member of the collective genius it really starts there and uh that's why it's the best so i just want to give a big shout out to jason medley hopefully he gets the opportunity to to see this you guys knocked it out of the park with this last event um and the, the caliber of people like josh color and i got josh color coming out to uh columbus 
on the 24th to kind of help us with this cream launch and content. And, you know, it's just, just every single meeting, there's new people coming in. The caliber, the bar is raised so high. It makes us all better. I think, wouldn't you guys agree? You see these Absolutely. young bucks coming in. It's like, okay, we, we, gotta, we are on the cutting edge. And I'm just super grateful for Jason Medley and for the Collective Genius. Me too. I, I agree 100%. I, I remember the first meeting I came to, it was about 10 and a half years ago. Collective Genius was fairly, was really new. I think it might have been their second meeting. I was with Larry Goins and we had a really great sales floor. We were buying and selling property like crazy and thought we were the bomb. And we sat down in this room with, I don't know, at that time, there were probably 20 other businesses that were in there and we're listening to them talk and Larry leans over to me and goes, I'm feeling pretty stupid about now. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yep. <laughs> it's just amazing the caliber of people um, that, that we just get to share life with. It's, it's really, really cool. And you too uh, absolutely fall into that category. Thank you so much for for being on here and, and sharing your history with us and just being so willing to give back. Thank you so much. Well, thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Wendy. thanks, Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, we, apparently Wendy didn't uh, listen to boss about the silence thing either. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's good to be quiet. <laughs> Yeah, that, that training is not going to work for me. Anyone who knows me, I'm like, RJ, hopefully you're taking notes here because I don't know how I'm going to scale back. But You know, another thing you talked about was being assertive and how your tone, it doesn't matter uh, what words you say, but the tone that you use makes all the difference. And I, that's my issue is my tone. I'm always, I try to use nice words, but my tone is like, let's get it done. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I need to work on that. <laughs> we did our team call today and I tried to practice some of what we learned. So I slowed things down. And then somebody said to me, he's like, Dave, I think something's wrong with your uh, audio. We're, we're not used to it. You're all slow. They're like, are you on mute? No, I'm listening. They're like, we're not used to this. Bring back the old day. <laughs> yeah. Are you on something, Dave? <laughs> How come you're in slow motion? <laughs> Those pills finally kick in. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I, I, as a matter of fact, I got Leon coming up here in a few minutes. Of course, nice. like everyone else, he's late. I don't say that everyone else because Brett was here early. <laughs> I was too. I said I was backstage, <laughs> Bill. Oh, he was in the black. green room. Yeah, he, he was in the green room. He's busy picking out the green M&Ms. I was in the green uh, room, okay? I was, I was uh, <laughs> enjoying the hors d'oeuvres and really getting ready for this show here. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank thank you so much for joining us. Um, All right. Thanks, guys. Thank uh, you. We'll, we'll, uh, hopefully, we'll, Brett, we'll get to see you soon. Uh, I know Dave... Uh, we're, we're all on the, the Freedom Founders stream or so the, we'll see you tonight. Yeah, the, the <laughs> Zoom rooms. So well, we'll see you for the next three days. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to it, guys. Thanks so much. Thank all right. you. Take care. Bye.